Alright guys and gals, welcome back to another edition of our 7 Days to Die Let's Play Alpha 17. So guys, bad news. The old world is gone. Uh, ran into a few glitches where I've ended up about halfway across the map in the other world. Um, and it's just super bugged. And it's not, it, things aren't working out there like I wanted to. Um, so I... I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it, and I've decided to go ahead and remake the world. Um, I found a seed that I really like from pictures, and uh, so we're doing it. I will, uh, I'll post the, the link to the seed in the com or the details of this video, uh, but we went ahead and did day one everything. We got loot going, we found a passing gas, we found a zombie dog, um... We nearly died a couple times, so fun times, but we're working on day two. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of kind of what's going on, because we're getting ready to run through uh, a mini dungeon. Um, so the general plan with this is for the first probably... Hey, four o'clock. Lit. Um, so for the first three days is literally just going to be looting... And dropping things off. So what I did, I'm actually hanging out up there for, for safety at night, just in case. Because that is uh, a very harder to destroy building uh, versus this one. Uh, I'm storing all of my stuff here as a separate site, just that way in the event that for some reason I meet an unfortunate fate. Well, my stuff stays intact. It's in a whole other building. Um, so that's the general premise behind that. So we'll throw the food in there. I really don't need it for now. Um, at least I hope. We're going to throw the arrows. And we're going to go ahead and go about our day. <clears throat> so right next to this is a Poppin' Pills, a Shamway Foods, and a Pete's Pub. What more could you want, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead. I've already been working on the pharmacy, the Poppin' Pills. There wasn't too terribly much to this, but there was enough um, that came out of like the cupboards and everything. So, it wasn't too terribly bad. It's not, like, super great. The back room really didn't have much that uh, I wanted to rave about, but it was there. So, let's move to Section 2, which this was the Shamway Foods. Um, it actually had a little bit of food stuff in it, so that was super cool. And uh, time just essentially ran out. <clears throat> so, we'll finish this up. Uh, guys, if you're a newer 7 Days to Die player, one thing to always think of is going after these black leather couches early. They're a great source of leather, uh, which is needed for forges and whatnot. I'm already out of stamina. Oh my gosh. What is my water at? Uh, my water's at 91. Okay, my stamina region is not bad. Early game, you just have to be very conscious of your stamina. You can't just like run and do and do and do. Um, nice little elevator shaft. I'm not going to take it up just yet because I want to be careful. See, I think I got everything out of the bathrooms. I did. Beautiful. Ah, there's even a hidden suitcase. Look at that. Look at that. I think that takes care of... Alright, so that actually takes care of everything downstairs. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going we're gonna to make our way upstairs. Remove these old style spikes. I miss these actually. I wish we could have more of these, but that's just me. 200 paint? I don't want paint. Get rid of paint. Alright. Oh my gosh. Um, do I have any more arrows made? I do now. Well, thankfully these aren't ferals. Alright, you know what? Zombie beat down. All 
Alright, there goes one. There goes two. Beautiful. Reinforced club always comes through. Give me that. Always grab the chairs, guys. And mass and scrap them. They turn in. It's a little bit, but hey, it's wood. Let's see, we're going to grab that. Uh, we're going to take everything. If I remember right, moldy bread. Yep, can be made for antibiotics. Cool. Always check behind the pictures. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, so this is where it goes. Sick. Not sure I want to know what's behind the grate just yet. Not sure I'm brave enough to know what's behind the grate just yet. I'm actually going to wear those, take those, and BDU bot. Oh, hello. Goodbye. All right. So I'm just going to start scrapping. Not really much point elsewhere. I hear a zombie. Is he up here? Oh, he's up here. Sick. Goodbye. Oh, this should be fun. Drop you. I'm super creeped out by the dance studio, guys. It's open, and there's zombies in a lot of places. I'm going to collect all my stone arrows real quick. Oh, I hear a few outside. Hey. I'll take those. Dance till you die. Well, these guys sure did. Am I right? Good. He's down. All right. So. Oh, this is what's behind the grate. Nice. Oh, sick. Pistol. Putting that on the bar. Something tells me I'm about to need it. Oh, man. Let's see. We'll throw that there. I'm expecting, like, vultures and everything else to show up here. Oh, I took everything. Scrap that. It's giving me a lot of brass, though. Oh, there's the top of the elevator. Ooh. Uh, give me that. They really don't... Those guys really don't sell for much, so... Oh, yep, there's a vulture. There's a couple of vultures. There's one down. Yikes, dude. Oh. Drop. And there you go.
Cool. I'm super scared. Landing two arrows right next to each other. All right, yep, there's a couple sleeper zombies downstairs. Anything worth my time up here? She's down. Alright, he's down. And I should be able to just take on Edgar. Without any real interference. Thankfully, he's not fair roll. One feature I like, guys, is that you can recover arrows part of the time. So, give me that. Um, can you scrap plants? Nope, I have no purpose for it then. If you could scrap plants, I'd keep it. Oh. Alright. Um, scrap the can, take everything else. Cooking pots are great. If you don't have them, you need them. Gravedigger schematic. Okay. Cardboard. This is actually a really nice place. Um, take out the, the pictures of the Kickstarters. Just in case you know there's something hanging out. Oh, I've angered the zombies downstairs, guys. Feels bad, man. Scrap. And I believe there's that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab these. It's good cloth. Cloth is needed for bandages, and bandages actually have more use, guys. Wow, I have really pissed off something downstairs. Alright. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's a wandering horde that showed up. I bet you it's a wandering horde. All right. Search garbage pile. Bullet casings. I really don't like the sound of like 13 footsteps that I'm hearing in my headset, so... I am going to cheat my way and get out here. I'm going to try to see what we got going on down below. Oh, I'm not going to be able to tell. But. We'll try to go back through. I 
I really want those zombies too, because it's a lot of experience. Yeah, they know I'm here. They're coming after me. How much you guys want to bet, chat? Leave some comments down below after this video posts. Oh yeah, look at that. They broke in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Wandering Horde. Oh, I'm out of arrows! I got stunned! I have one arrow. I have one arrow in a dream. Tech with this. I see that one zombie there on the right. I'm ignoring him for now. I'm gonna grab a bunch more uh, stone real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and make up few more arrows. Early game arrows are important, guys. Because when your stamina is low, go to the bow. But yeah, so we're going to scrap that. Yeah, I think we got to, like, right about here. Yeah, these guys were coming in here. We'll pop that. Hey, they got me a level up. Oh, yeah. Sofas, Renta. Oh, my gosh. Hi, boys and girls. Wow, that really pissed off the crowd. Come on, Slappy. Be good with your arrows. Oh! Right to the old noggin. Goodbye. Oh. Yep. This guy's seen me, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of him. If you guys notice the EXP, zombies give a ton. So 700 EXP per zomb. So it's very beneficial to be taking out zombies, especially early game. The more levels you get early, the quicker you can get up to what you need to get up to. Always check the stock. Oh, look. Hello. You woke up just in time for me to just beat your face in. All there is is trash, trash, and a backpack. Which has... Ooh, water. Seven-day sale. Easy sofa. 
I'll check out the building next door here in a minute. Uh, scrap those, give me that. One locker is open. Ooh, I'll wear the bandana. Scrap. And, ooh, XP gain is 10% for nerdy glasses. I'm going to take them for now just because I don't want to get rid of them. I think they're going to sell decent. Um, yeah, sell price of 30 so when I ever do find a trader, they're there. All right, so cubicles and desks, not too terribly shabby. Wear those, scrap those, scrap that. And since I have two sets of nerdy glasses, I am going to just scrap one. Let's see the bin. Drop the paper. Take those. Convert them all. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to do? Um, try to free up some inventory space. We're going to scrap the bullet casings for now. Um, you guys can yell at me in comments later if you want, but that'll be good. I know I can turn the glue into duct tape, but it's not going to do anything because it's not going to free up an inventory slot right now. And yeah, that's literally everything for that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'll come back here for the sofas later. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Take care of these. Good headshots. Good stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of leather that's going to come out of here. Trash compactor. Take everything. Alright, so this would be the bar. You can tell by the kegs. My personal favorite. It's the old sinks. Give me those. And a kitchen area. Remember to thank your Kickstarters, guys. I gotta be very careful here. Got her. Alright guys, and last but not least, you have kitchen. More lootables. I am super stuffed with stuff, so I'm going to actually come back for this. There's no point in me looting for anything, because if I do, I'm going to be like, drop this, drop that, get rid of this. And it would do us no good. So I'm going to get back to where we are stashing our stuffy stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and eat food real quick too. Just to get a little more stamina and water gain. And get me a little more iron from that. Did I see? Ah. Arrow in the wall. Nice. Alright. Well, guys, if you're checking out this video on YouTube down the road, 
Uh, if you like what you see, make sure to slap that subscription button. Let me know you like what you see. Uh, also, remember to keep that notification bell on so you can know when new videos go live. Uh, also, check me out, twitch.tv slash the slappy one. Uh, in fact, this is actually being streamed right now uh, as well as recorded. So just make sure you come hang out, say hi. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys then. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we will get to work on this new world super quick, and I will see you guys later.